So what is Agenda 21? Well, it's easy. Agenda 21 is a comprehensive, this according to the United Nations website, a comprehensive plan of action to be taken globally, nationally, and locally by organizations of the United Nations system, governments and major groups in every area in which human impacts on the environment. Now, where is that? Where every area where humans impact the environment. Answer, everywhere, in everything. Now, how do they plan on funding such a massive effort? Easy, according to the UN website. Agenda 21 will require a substantial flow of the new and additional financing resources to developing countries in order to cover the incremental cost for the actions they have to undertake to deal with global environmental problems and to accelerate sustainable development. Got it? So it's going to keep growing and growing and growing, and there's going to have to be more and more money from rich countries going to poor countries. We'd be one of those rich countries. Sounds a little like redistribution of wealth, doesn't it? I know, crazy conspiracy talk from the United Nations. The main hook to this program centers around one catchphrase, and it is this, sustainable development. Well, that sounds great. And I want you to know, most of the people in your local areas think that that's fine. And I do too, if it was just that, hey, we want to be able to sustain development. Yes. However, they don't know what's behind sustainable development. According to the UN website, again, sustainable development, development that meets the needs of the present which at, without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. Well, don't, don't we have to be kind of a, a prediction king to be able to do that? Let me translate. They want to evaluate and approve and reject anything and everything you do in order to make sure it's for the good of future generations. In other words, it doesn't matter what the individual wants to do as long as it's good for the collective. Hello, 1984. More and absolute control. We have more on what this means coming up, but it includes things like where you can live, what land should be designated for, by, not by your local community, but by the UN. Here's the uh, Agenda 21 stance on land. The objective, quoting the United Nations, is to provide for the land requirements of human settlement development through environmentally sound physical planning and land use so as to ensure access to land to all households and, where appropriate, the encouragement of communally and collectively owned and managed land. Particular attention should be paid to the needs of women and indigenous people for economic and cultural reasons. Gang, that thinking throws our standard American legal system upside down. It has a, you can't do anything until we approve it kind of sound to it, which means guilty until proven innocent. The burden of proof is on the person contemplating any kind of action. This is called a precautionary approach, which is referenced in Agenda 21 a lot. Here's what makes Agenda 21 different and more dangerous than most radical revolutionary globalist ideas. The focus is the local level. They're not trying to jam this down your throat in one fell swoop from you know, the international body. They're going through the back door at the extreme local level. A group based in Germany called the International Council of Local Environmental Initiatives, ICLE. This is an important group that if you decide this is a cause that you want to be involved in, you're going to know more about this crazy, spooky group than you ever want to know. They're heading up that, um, the local style effort. And they provide all the support to any town that wants to pursue Agenda 21 policies. Not shockingly, George Soros, Open Society, and his institute is a large funder of ICLEI. Due to the crafty and benign nature of the Agenda 21 pitch, which basically amounts to save the earth type message, let's be good to the land. That sounds good. Virtually nobody disagrees with that. Because of that, American cities are falling prey in record numbers to the scam. 
even my great state of Texas in Austin, despite the plea from someone opposing the rewilding plans. Watch this. Amongst the stated objectives of Agenda 21 is the rewilding of America through the Wildlands Project. This project would remove human beings from over half of the land in America and deem these areas core wilderness zones. Regardless of where your family farm once was, human beings will not be allowed to set foot in these areas. There would also be highly controlled and monitored buffer zones around these areas in which travel would be severely limited. Do you notice that the main color in that map was red? That's from Ickley, and um, those are areas humans will not be allowed in. It's why they are gobbling so much land in the West. In Austin, Texas, they voted 7 to 0 in favor of the plan. In Texas. California, not surprisingly, is all in with Agenda 21. In Los Angeles County and five other Southern California counties, they're calling for more than half of all new housing to be, quote, concentrated in dense so-called transit villages with much of it at even uh, higher 30 or more units per acre. In other words, it's a war on future suburbia. You want to buy a house an hour outside of town with an acre or two for the family? Good luck. If your area is following Agenda 21, it will not be allowed. This is just the tip of the iceberg.